Hello everybody, one more time. My name is Alex Centeno with Mercados Interactive Partners. And in this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at color grading with Camera Raw. I know that uh, for some of you digital media artists out there, uh, you guys are already doing your color grading with uh, professional tools like DaVinci Resolve from Blackmagic Design or uh, Colorista or any of those uh, top level tools. But um, some people don't have access to those tools, although um, Blackmagic Design's uh, tool is free for the light version. Uh, but um, I guess um, one of the biggest issues is, is feeling comfortable with, with all the tools. So sometimes you, know, you have access to the tools, but also you don't feel comfortable um, using all the tools and because we've been using Photoshop so for so long um, I think that it would be a good idea to show you how to do color grading um, of course not to the scale of uh, Blackmagic Design's uh, DaVinci Resolve because um, I'm gonna tell you straightforward it's probably a little bit easier to do it with with professional tools like like Resolve um, because Camera Raw takes a long time to render especially with footage that it's uh, 1080p or 4k you know, it takes a long time. But uh, that being said, it's a great tool. So let's let's take a look and and, and see uh, what we're gonna do with that. Before we begin, let's take a look at uh, our sponsor for today. Mercados is a strategic web studio located in the Research Triangle area in North Carolina. Our focus is to help businesses of all sizes make more money through the use of a strategic website design custom digital media development, and web marketing. For more information, you can contact us at 888-525-8117 or visit us on the web at Mercados.com. Mercados, creatively smart. Excellent. So before we go directly to Photoshop, here I have a couple of... Um, of things that we're gonna uh, take a look before. So, uh, first of all, Camera Raw uh, is from Adobe. It's a great tool that comes uh, naturally with Photoshop. So if you have Photoshop, you have Camera Raw, and uh, it can be used for uh, image stills or um, static photography, and also for motion graphics or video footage. So uh, most people don't know that, and that's that's what we're gonna be taking a look at today. Uh, and the idea is simply that we can apply uh, Camera Raw as a smart filter. And uh, I'm not really sure if this is something that comes with the CC 2014 uh, release, or if it's something that happened in the CC or, or even before with Photoshop CS6, but uh, definitely on the CC 2014 you can do that, which is to apply the smart filter uh, camera raw to footage or of course to um, uh, stills. So before we begin let's take a look at three concepts really quickly. The first one is the, the concept of clarity. So clarity it works similarly to contrast right and uh, the, the only thing is that it's limited to acting in the mid-tones of an image as opposed to in the whole range of the tone. So it's not going to affect as much the shadows and it's not going to affect the highlights, therefore making it um, more attractive to use. Uh, you could of course make masks to try to prevent that from happening, uh, but it's definitely a, an easier way to do it by just using a slider, uh, which of course is the clarity slider. So the second uh, concept here that we're going to take a look is the vibrance one. And vibrance is uh, in a way similar to saturation, except it only increases color uh, or saturation to those tones that are not already highlight, uh, um, highly saturated. And um, at the same time, it also protects the skin tones, therefore acting uh, primarily on blue tones. So the, the whole spectrum of blues are the ones that get um, saturated by the use of the vibrance um, slider and then finally we have of course the uh, saturation one and uh, saturation really refers to the purity of color and and I know that you guys probably already know that if you take in the RGB color space if you take red green and blue you put them together you're gonna get gray um, uh, if you put them in the in the same amounts and so 
uh, the concept of saturation is to to go a, a, against that uh, instead of like giving the same amounts of each color to go against so that you reach the purity of each one of the colors uh, red green or blue so with that being said let's take a look then uh, directly into Photoshop so the first thing that I'm gonna do here is that I'm going to open my footage so open Photoshop and then hit open and bam we have it in uh, Photoshop um, this particular clip is taken from video blocks videoblocks.com and uh, so I want to say thank you to them for providing this and the service is, in my opinion a really good uh, service for uh, video cl video clips and footage so uh, if you're looking for stock uh, video in HD then you might want to look into that and uh, also if you really are looking into it then if you you know send a uh, request in the comments box or something below then maybe I can send you an invitation code that would give you a discount to video blocks so uh, not that I'm uh, being sponsored by them by any means but uh, I, I, I can give you a referral code and so you get a, a discount so Excellent. So, video footage shader here. Um, I am going to transform this layer into a smart object. So, right click on the layer, smart object, and now we have it as a smart object. Now, if I go to filter and then a camera raw filter, then that's going to bring up my camera raw controls. Excellent. Let's go ahead and span this. Great, and um, this is, as you can see, 4K footage, so of course it's going to be massive. All right, and uh, what I want to do here is um, control everything like I usually do with Camera Raw, so we can take a look at temperature, so I can definitely uh, do it uh, towards the blue, or cooler temperature, towards the yellow, or warmer temperature, uh, and so forth. Um, so all the controls are pretty much available to me with video footage as well. I can control the, the exposure, which in this clip is pretty pretty well controlled, so I will keep it the same way. I can increase the contrast, or, although as we talked before, uh, if what I want is to affect the contrast in the mid-tones, then what I'm going to do is clarity instead. So you can see that it increases the contrast in the mid-tones. Uh, I can also increase the vibrance, for example, and the saturation. Um, so for example for, for cinematic looks usually you don't have a lot of saturation you, you get a little bit less of saturation uh, of the color so I can decrease a little bit of the vibrance uh, and the saturation not too much now I'm going to give you a, a nice trick here if we actually go to the split toning uh, one very common use uh, in um, coloring or grading techniques in video today is using this teal uh, image coloring or blue coloring which usually is that the skin tones are towards orange and then the rest including the backgrounds and mid tones are towards the blue or teal so uh, you can do that with uh, camera raw like this so I'm gonna just uh, select in the highlights towards that orange that I'm talking about and give it a little bit of saturation so just like that a little bit and then and I'm gonna turn off my, my peaking also uh, and then saturation on the shadows I'm gonna turn to to that teal color a little bit like around there all right and then I can modify the balance so I can say well where is it going to start the separation of the midtones so I'm coloring everything in the shadows towards this teal and everything in the highlights towards the orange kind of thing as you can see and I can control the saturation of the highlights here and I can control the saturation of course of the teal here um, so I'm gonna just leave it like so I'm gonna reduce a little bit of the saturation of, of those highlights because otherwise it looks too too fake Turn it a little bit towards the yellow a little more. 
and that's pretty much it. Of course, you can control all sorts of other things, including um, sharpness. So if I come here, I can uh, also add a little bit of sharpening to the clip and so forth. So all the tools that are available to me for image uh, still images are available to me in video coloring. And as I said before, believe me when I tell you this takes forever to render, especially with 4K footage. So um, you probably don't want to do this too often, but uh, it's a tool that is available to you and that you can use any of the techniques to actually do it pretty, pretty easily, pretty fast. Um, pretty fast the applying, not the rendering, of course. <laughs> so anyways, um, so that's it. Uh, that's pretty much the technique that I wanted to show you. Uh, we call, covered a little bit of what clarity was, about what vibrancy is, and uh, saturation. So now you have a complete understanding of the difference between clarity, vibrance, and saturation, and how they act on an image, how to apply those through camera raw, and not only to apply it to still images, but also to video footage for color grading. And if you're a digital media artist, or if you're aspiring to be a digital media artist professional, uh, you're gonna do this all the time. Like um, still images is, is definitely a great part of your job, but believe me, video is creeping in and you're taking care of a lot of video stuff for your clients. So you need to have as many techniques as, as you can. So anyways, uh, as always, uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, I welcome your comments below in the comments YouTube box. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.